Well, hello and welcome to episode four of FPL Top Dog Spelling Honest. And uh, this is the guru here. Take you through the latest uh, shenanigans that's happened in this uh, absolutely horribleous, absolutely, totally, um, um, yes, laughable. Uh, wasn't happy with a 39. Um, okay, you know, went with Salah and uh, Forrest win out. It's just all old news. Um, yeah, and uh, Haaland does his brace. I hit the pro, so you should have probably got the hatchy, the treble, treble. Um, but yeah, breaking all the records along with Harry Kane over in Madrid. Um, companies, uh, sorry, I just say Madrid, idiosa. Okay, um, yeah, let's just say mistakes from mistakes. Um, I've got a gig to get on to go, so yeah, just a quick look at the uh, my son dream team. I took to well, where am I? Uh, eleven thousand k in the overall out of like about a quarter of a million players. So I'll take that. Go on, great guns. Top of the Redbridge League, and where that's where I work. Um, I've got top dogs. Got eight teams there. Um, I just took, I did two transfers. I got rid of Emil Smith Rowe and um, uh, Castagna. Castagna got four points last night against Preston. I think they lost out and. Um, Smith Smith Rowe, um, he done okay, but he got eight points. So that was eight points and four is twelve. So the two transfers, twelve versus twenty-eight, at sixteen points. That's what it's about, and that's where I've got the deal. I I just had a look at what I could get in, and I like Matara. Who we, um, he did come on last night in that seven-nil Barnsley um, whitewash. The tight's getting done again. Last time they came to Old Trafford, it was seven as well. So he came on for his, his point. But, you know, a lot, I, this is really cool with the Sun Dream team that during the midweeks when there's no Prem, it really helps you get through them them quiet periods of the, the week. So absolutely thrilled. Lots more to come. Um, I've got the power captain here, as he's got it at the minute. He's played both his games, but we'll see what Haaland does. Um, you know, I, I expect him to play from the start against Inter Milan. Tricky one. Inter are better than AC Milan, as we saw Liverpool last night. 3-1 winners after going to goal. But Henderson, I have him in here, but he picks up quite a few points and saves and bits and pieces. So wasn't a great, but at least he plays. The whole key to Sun Dream Team is to have players that play. That's just the, the bare bones of it. And that's why I got rid of um, um, Emil Smith-Rowe and Castagna because Castagna's not playing in the Premier League. And uh, McNeil, I felt that he would be rested, although he wasn't. No, um, uh, Emil Smith-Rowe was rested. Uh, didn't play both games in a row, so his minutes are managed. So that's why I got McNeil in, because I knew he'd play both. And I just like the underlying data, and he's been scoring 10s and 12s and all sorts. So... Great call, happy enough, so yeah. Sun Dream team is flying, um, and uh, I'll take it. You know, top 11k, and there's money for this, uh, and there's money in my mini league as well, so I'll take it. Um, I'm just going to go all out. Okay, so that, the, the, the max captain chip, there's three of them you get, and this one is like whatever player scores the most points, the captain will move, captaincy will move to that player. So I, I would have had Salah as captain, uh, and you saw that he got hit the post twice against Liverpool uh, for Liverpool against um, AC Milan. So, you know, that's frustration already. So I'm happy I used this chip to get on Haaland and now it's on Eze. So it's a really cool chip. Uh, it, would, it would be something that if FPL had, it would be really cool. So not much more to, to report. Um, of course, you get two transfers all the time every game week. So you're never kind of you can let them mount up, I think, to five free transfers. So, um, yeah, there's just more interactivity about Sun Dream Team, and um, you need to get players that are playing all the time and not blanking and not DNS or do not play DNP. Um, Isak is a bit of an issue. I have to figure it out. He should be okay, like, you know, the eye injury, uh, the nosebleed, um, all the like. Um, roundup of last night was full of, full of, um, in, on the Dinamo Zigrasis. Nice. Yeah, it's just going through, yeah. 
all the sort. Yeah, TA played. Got here. Yeah, let's go through the video now while we're here. I, I want to apologize for the sound. At least I've got the picture. This thing's only a 15 quid. It does all in one. Um, I, I hope one day to get a better setup and have a proper mic and the whole lot. But, you know, this is just, you know, it's the Christy Nicholson Pole Fantasy League. This is a league based around Ballyonis. You guys are in it. It's our community. I'm a bit of a fulcrum sort of figure where I won't let this thing go and I'll keep on tabs. And I'll listen, this is just a report of what you've been doing out there. It's a local community and everybody knows each other in the league. And we all want to win the Christian League. Even someone who like me, I, I, I want to win it again, sorry. But you guys are crazy. And we've had new winners. And we've got really good winners in the Christian Nick And legends then. Legends are made. Like, you know, in all Ireland, or the Christian Nick. Yeah, we'll go that way. Right, let's play the video and see what's on the agenda. Well, that's uh, what we have for the agenda for today. And um, and M all the time. I wish I would not say and M, but there you go. 39, okay, fair enough. Uh, the Highland thing. I'm not going to beat myself up about uh, 284. Two, now, guy five points ahead of me in 289. His rank is about 550K. So on five points, there's 225,000 people there. I'm not absolutely glad to cream that's going. Um, I'm... Um, yeah, good stuff. It's absolutely boiling out there. It's great, great weather today. Lines on the whole lot. Um, so, yeah, 200, 225,000 and five points. So, not going to get too down about this. I've got a proper red arrow, but it's uh, easily look. Um, I did get rid of Madike and Isak because I that was a knee jerk thing, just miffed off I, I don't buy Newcastle away from home at all um not really impressed at all home they seem okay but penals this season seem to be really hard come by it's it's nearly like a red her herring penals isn't it um we'll get on about um Palmer as well like he's at 10.5 I think he's maybe gone up 10.6 I'm not sure but he got 10 penals last season and Penals aren't a thing this season, and I'm not sure that he's going to get up to them that sort of points number or total. It's just a hunch, but uh, he might be actually a bit overpriced. And I'd nearly prefer Jackson up front just as the fulcrum because he's got no competition, he's getting better and better. And I think he's a good shout. Him and Sanchez are probably the best shouts in that Chelsea. The rest are just wrote who wants the headache of a Neto and a and a Jao Felix and a, and a Madike and, and who's going to start in here and there and everywhere. It's a, who cares? Just get on with it. Nobody knows what Chelsea are going to turn up anyway. Uh, the one against Bournemouth, fair enough, like was a gritty performance, but they, in Bournemouth's a panel. Um, yeah, and also another one, people who are getting penals can't score them. Um, yeah, Southampton missing the panel against United, so... That's what I've done this week. I've got in, I've got rid of Madike and Madkins. I don't care saying he doesn't have the stats. He's not I mean who who cares? This this sort of good ball back. It wasn't a foul. He's ran and marauded forward. He's got an instinct for goal. And that goal he scored, um, yeah, against Villa. That 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 looked like what Ali Watkins was doing. Uh, so and he takes all free kicks, and he just seems to be right there. Him and DCL have a great sort of, you know, vision together and, you know, sense of each other. So I, I'm going to take a punch in this guy, 5.4. Uh, I like taking into punchy things. Uh, I think I can – I think it's not. Other people have Rodgers in their team, but he's done nothing Yes, He's not flying away. And, you know, we'll see now. Leicester away, Everton, there's – you know, Seamus Coleman's injured, I think. Uh, Pickford, England's number one. <laughs> um, I think he's one of them keepers that's letting more goals than saves. I don't know. I just I'm not buying it. I'm sorry. 
But yeah, I'm not going to put anyone off uh, DCL or uh, McNeil. I just like a five-man midfield. I, I just don't want the double Newcastle thing. I think Gordon will get his fair share of bits and pieces. The double Spurs wasn't great against Arsenal, but some people have benched Gabriel. Disaster. I wouldn't do it. He's just such a threat. I think this team's good enough to get over game week five. I was going to panic, but we'll go into that. I was going to panic wild card, knee jerk wild card. I was absolutely disgusted with the whole setup. And it would have been insane. Oh, look, that team is going to be fine. Uh, I've got Watkins in, and there's an outside chance where you should captain Watkins. You know, Salah has missed a pen away to Bournemouth. He he didn't get any returns against Bournemouth in the 9 0. Everything about Bournemouth and they seem to be gritty and they're they don't give you an inch of space and they they bosh the ball up and they get rid of it and the Sinestra is there and and everything about them strong and physical and you know and gritty and they're just not a nice they're, they're, they're basically um you know a, a, a silky or crazy gang. In my opinion, and and they're, they're I mean, I I like watch you know Bournemouth. They're they're an interesting team, and now they've no Solanke. You thought, well, that's them done, but uh, not in your Nelly. They're doing better than ta- what Tottenham are doing, in points wise. It's just shocking stuff that's going on. Um, uh, I'm going to the Brentford match on Saturday. It's just great to go to the stadium and just sit down and you know get the atmosphere, have the radio on, the results going on, and you're actually watching the game. Oh yeah, here. You. Oh, I don't know I'm born. Um, you know, win, lose, or draw, it does the same difference to me. It's just great to be in the whole thing. So, flecking against Tottenham, I'll take that. That will be fine. And then it's a wild card. Game week six, get all the Arsenal in. I think I will do a double attack. I'm just an attacking manager. I would, I'd have, have her somehow. But then again, you know, Salah, there's a lot of points the Champions League and all the cup rotation stuff. Uh, Wolves, Crystal Palace Palace are going to find their form again they've had to adapt without Anderson gone, uh, at least they've gone to Bayern and I think slowly but surely Glaston will get them sorted, they're actually a very good team and Tata's up there and Ketchy is going to do Eddie and Ketchy is there now, he'll do a good job he, he looks really good, he had chances he looks like he'd hit the ground running Uh yeah, Eze looks brilliant. He's not returned, but in the cups, he's he's scoring goals. He's he scored a goal the other night there. Uh, um, it's his old stomping ground QPR where Palace won two one. So I have him in my dream team, Sun Dream team, and he's he's flying. He's a great Sun Dream because he plays all the games uh, as long as he you know touch wood, no injuries. So Liverpool, Chelsea, they love Chelsea. Liverpool, they love to give them a flake. Uh, that that'll be no, you know. And then the Liverpool away is always interesting, and Brighton. I, I I'm not sure if I can go with that more. I'm not sure, but Havertz, Saka, and Gabriel. Okay, I think I'd rather that because of, you know, I think Arsenal have Leicester City, Southampton, and then Bournemouth away. Come on, and then they have Chelsea or something, and a few other bits and pieces. Tricky enough. Um, so I, I, that's the way I'd go. Matoma, very, very disappointed with Brighton uh, and Minta, if you have him. And João Pedro not even getting off. He got a, he probably walked off the plane from South America and injured his foot or something. It's stupid. It's scary with Joe, but at least he didn't do the cameo. And he have, if you had some Emil Smith Rowe on the bench or whoever, there you go. But um, I think there's a lot. I love Emil Smith Rowe. What a player. Just. And you know, he could be a slightly defensive midfielder. So could McNeil. Um, I think there's something to be said about these 5.5s to 5.4s and five. You know, Rogers probably will should he should come good, but he's playing a lot of minutes. Ollie Watkins now has got up to 84 minutes or 82 minutes in the league. He's been building up from 70 minutes and 60 minutes, and here it's just obvious that he's just talking and not. Now he did have, I think they were mentioning it about ice on the ankle or something, so. After the uh, young boys game, we'll have to see, but you know, to, to hopefully he'll start. And then look, I like a punty move. Some people are saying, Why do the two transfers? You're going to wild card in game week six, but I, I, I'm, I want to attack into this game week five. I think it's a lovely game week. 
I think there's a lovely amount of fixtures here. Um, so Watkins and McNeil, uh, there's goals with Everton. Uh, I'm not worried about them conceding. It's just they, they look really good against Bournemouth. 85 minutes. They could have had about four or five or six. They were just brilliant. I, I like watching Everton. Uh, Ollie Watkins, yeah, I'm happy enough. Um, yeah, Duran's coming off the bench. Not too worried. He could, he could start against Wolves to give Ollie a bit of a, a break. and He could do it well, but he, what he's doing off the bench, I think um, Emery likes players that come off the bench and say, why work the boat? I think he's that sort, and then you throw these guy on the whole dynamic of the game changes. So I think he, I think, think things are going really well for Aston Villa. They haven't been overly impressive. Okay, they lost to Arsenal, but the other games, they've been getting out here and there, and they've got goals at the right time, and they've managed. They're, they're doing really well, and when they get going, there you need to watch out for them. Um, a few injuries with them as well. Cash being injured, but Tillemans is a shout as well. If uh, he could be a good facilitator for your game week six wild card, uh, so that's where I'm going. A quick look at the King of the Travellers. Go through this pretty quick. Uh, game week four. So where are we the standings? Joey Neenan just loves this. He absolutely adores the King of the Travellers. He, he he won it last year. Um, Pack highly in there. I I lost to Joey last week. Uh, ha- hold my hands up. Got. I think he had, um, is it Diaz and somebody else, uh, and, and my Josh or whatever I don't know. But I don't have Josh. I know that's getting mixed up with something else. But yeah, Joy wins for Joy this game week. He's in great feckly, slightly below me, so I'm keeping an eye on this. <clears throat> Joy's going to fly up the rankings. It's just a great moves. See, he's still got the double Fulham. Lots of people have still treble Fulham with the Munez thing. Ugh. Munez, uh, Munoz, I think Palace and Munez, uh, Fulham, and he just can't finish his dinner. The poor lad, uh, lots of bits and pieces on the bench, which is tricky. But I'm in no hurry to get rid of Barco or the other dude that have Fraser because they're not going down in price. And I don't mind having just like phase and eventually he will come on, but that's not the future, and that's what my wild card will solve somehow. As is a good shout, I, I would be keeping him at 6.9. There's a problem with the penalty issue, I know, but he, he will take penalty, but she's going to lose possibly 30 to 40 points a season. Might make him just a, a 180, 160 uh, FPL overall points a season, dude, instead of 180 or 190. You know, the penalty is a big thing, so Matetsu's taking them, which Matetsu's 7.5, and that's still a bit. That's, uh, it will be a good call. Uh, Wood's been a very good call for Joey. Very good. It's, it's really kept Joey in there. Uh, Gabriel's come up. Trump's he's played him. Uh, mainly because, you know, when you have lack of options on the bench, it forces you. That's what I prefer to do, is have my money in players I know are starting. And I, I don't necessarily like to have this sort of eighth attacking player on the bench just flicking away. Um, sometimes when you have less decisions to make or you've got no, no other way out it, it it helps you just you know that's all i could do i just had to put gabriel on the bench uh you know lots of people put play paro and they left gabriel on the bench that's the sort of issue i'm on about so sometimes I'm, I'm i i would prefer that way of thinking and you know joey's got reaping the rewards there rogers is not sure i think he's left a lot of points on the floor um as a hit joy's been unlucky with as a smith rose been okay i think he did get him in um, he didn't have um, Salah, so he's done a few transfers there. And 61 is terrific. It's a great score. It's a green arrow. And yeah, I won three. Yeah, this is the one I meant to say. I lost to the 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 ha- Salah. Is it Salah? I think, I think this guy, yeah, Brian is the guy here. Uh, this is the, the FPL draft duo. This is our local draft league where Stevie Nolsey, Nolan, otherwise known as Streffers, and Jack the Dancer Maloney, you all know who I'm on about. And uh, this is their sort of a tiered league. I think there's up to 12. I'm in tier three, pretty high up, flying away. Uh, won, won, the, won the last one, the results just there. I'll take that, happy enough. And um, yeah, the guy, yeah, this yeah guy is it? No, we don't need to go too much into it. Or, yeah, this week. Um, 
did he win? Yeah, he must. He won. On the, he won with the thirty-one. That's massive. But yeah, no, it, so I had Jota versus Salah and Diaz. That's all I'm saying. Like absolutely destroyed in game week three. You know, um, and that's why. That's why I got absolutely. Uh, you know, Jota didn't. That was the difference there. So yeah, not going to complain too much. Just want to get out of this tier three and get into that tier. It's just a quick word on the draft. That's the Brian Keaton's team. And, uh, no, I, I will. I will say like if I'd love to know more of what's happening in League One and Two, and even the other tiers below as well. It just doesn't seem to be anything reported about this, um, which would be cool. So yeah, really happy with the start. I, I, I really like. I really like this team. Forty-seven, great. Okay, I, I'm I'm down with Wissa. Uh, he could be out for a while. They reckon something to seven or eight weeks. <clears throat> okay, you know it's. I think it's a bad ankle injury. It's very very. I didn't actually see the the tackle, but I heard like it's you know ankles are not meant to be bending in that way. So Shada looks like he's going to get a start there. Um, but a lot of people are going to be looking into seeing if uh, he could be. I don't know if he, I think he's only about five point four, so he should be getting loads of games. I don't think Bradford will be particularly affected, and I think that Thomas Frank, he just figures out a way of Brighton and. Uh, they really do well, Brighton. They're just one of them teams you don't want to play. And Spurs are going to figure out this. I'll see firsthand. I would not be surprised. It's 1 0 to Brentford. And then Bremo. <clears throat> Bremo scored over Tottenham before and won at Tottenham before. So I have Fleck in, but uh, I, will be, I will be having in Bremo for my game week six. No doubt. I'd love Eze too as well. And you know what? Even Bruno Fernandes, now he's due to go down again to 8.3. It was last night, but he didn't. Uh, it was only one player that uh, went up last. You know, we'll, we'll go into that later on. Um, so, yeah, that's I'm happy enough with Garnacho coming off the bench again, doing this night. At the Man United assets, especially in defence, now the leads come in. Five million. He could be a more wild card. But I like to have a bit of United. Look at Dallo. 11 points. Love it. Love it. Go on, United. They're <laughs> flying away. Um, so, yeah, Romero's okay, fine. I, he'll chip away. And he'll score here and there. Uh, Van de Ven is fine as well, if you have him. Daku and Astupin is one to watch for later. And he didn't start, but I think he started in the cup. So, yeah, Kilman, yeah, happy to get him in. I'm not sure what's a... Oh, Mjork on the bench, 11. Who would have thought it's just going away to Brighton? What is going on? Mitoma. Oh, my God. I'm like... Two chances and the one move, and it's just that's the crack with September results would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, Juve winning out against PSV, Villa winning out, Liverpool winning out, Bayern are top of the table in that league. This is like the the, the league club of club of Europe. They've they've just put all the groups together in one massive league thing, and the bottom eight or the top eight, I don't know, or going up or down, I don't know. But whatever happens in this group, you're out. If you finish in this bottom eight, I don't know, whatever it is, and you're not going down into the Europa. So this is fucking Man United and Tottenham have a terrific chance to win the Europa, and then you can qualify straight for the Champions League next year. That's the way to do it. Atalanta did it. That's why Italy have five teams in the Champions League. It's crazy. The Prem have only four. So... Um, yeah, you know, there you go. That's how you do it. Uh, so Real Madrid, three. Look, the same protagonists will be in and around, um, no matter what format they use. So I think City are away to... Oh, no, they got Inter at home. All right, that's okay. That's how you feel. Girona, come on. Poor old Girona against PSG. Celtic on tonight should be absolutely... I'm at the concert. Iridium are playing in Hybrid Islington. I'm going to that second time I've seen them. First time I only found them because I went to see another band. And that's the evolution I'm on. We got my top dog's hat is there. We saw Jack Harney, uh, the Brack Lunatic with his red cap. Is is they say this is the mega cap, you know, this is the this is the make America great cap. This one, this is the original, you know. Love it. Um I have I have a few that I have two samples done of the black and red one. It's all it's done, it's already done. I just have to get the money together to get that stuff done. And it's, it's sorted. So I actually have the prototypes on and they're brilliant. Black and red. Uh, very, very handy. Uh, especially from Bracklun, Ballyhonus, 
or down or Man United. Uh, right, that's where we are with that. Uh, I'm sure there's Carabao Cups at home to Wolves. Very interesting stuff. This Coventry City, I think, are still uh, managed by Mark Robbins. If that's the case, I think they are. I'm sure they are. They'll give Tottenham a proper game. Mark Robbins is the history. He's, he's the soul of United. He really, growing up watching him, was just love the guy. He got us out of massive trouble with Oldham. Uh, without Mark Robbins, we wouldn't have won an FA Cup. We wouldn't have even got to the final. That's brilliant. Uh, I think it was the, the Lee Martin year beating Palace. That, that was a very hard cup to win, that one. So 1991. Um, shouldn't have been, but it was. Uh, great memories. I have all their memories. They're all there. I live them. Hmm, Coblonk video. Well, I just have to go. Yeah, so game week four. Haaland has no equal. Yeah, it's just Haaland is the only premium asset that we really have that's worth the money. And there's no other price back. There's nowhere near that comes near him. It's done. You, you have to get this guy in somehow. You can go without him this week. He's a, he's, he's a home to Arsenal. You can back the Arsenal defence, but you still wouldn't be surprised in the 2-2 or 2-1. He's going to score two goals. Uh, he could be kept quiet, but um, I have to make a decision myself. Salah against Bournemouth, where he just doesn't score. And this is Panos. Or Ollie Watkins, who might have um, a sore ankle. And might do around my, you know, it's just... I just want players in my FPL team just to be cast iron. I, I know Bruno's returned one and assist in four games, but at least you know what you're going to get. He's on pens. He gets the minutes. He never gets injured. And he's just, just like stress-free. And he's just like, he's got, he's putting up a expected balls to shock and over two the whole lot. Anyway, I don't have him, but I could, I, I'm not ruling, I, I'm not ruling them out. Well, I'm definitely could have two United in that wild card. Um, so yeah, so look, 39, I'll, I'll take it on the chin, 11 points, I could have been on 90, 95, I've left that on the floor, the, you know, nearly 600,000k rank for but I'm delighted really in the whole bigger picture that I don't normally get starts like this and I'm not going to mess this one up, although I, I am doing my best to, to feck it up, but come on, Salah was the call, everyone was getting rid of Isak and who was the other make weight, Sa was a Sa Saka? And Isak to get in Salah and Joe Pedro. And that absolutely was, you know, so I did at least, at least I got, I, I, I escaped that scenario. But in the past, I would have been in that one. But oh, it's only, yeah, he's only human, can't cover Haaland ultimately. Was it Ollie Watkins actually is like the joint amount best chances with Haaland? I think he's had eight. Big chances or something in the in the, these in these games, and he's only returned with the two. Um, so he's not far off anyway. But you know, Mo massive off day, ball bouncing off him. Uh, he got marshaled awful, you know, particularly well by Moreno, who's come into to Forest and they've done an amazing job. It wasn't a fluke. Aina was brilliant. You know, Sells has done well, and uh, 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 Nuno former Spurs and Wolves dude. He knows what he's doing. He's, he's, a, he's a great tactician. And, uh, you know, he put the men behind the ball and then he brought the... rest is history. And Tricky Trees are Odoi the moon at Anfield since 1969. Well, it's over the moon since 1969. I'm trying to do something with this Adore the moon, over the moon. Uh, yeah, just trying to do my take on bits and pieces of this. Uh, can I do it that way? Uh, right, next window. Super Gabby nods in the winner. Spurs are atrocious. So Super Kadja failed to list the guest for uh, Super Gabby nods in the winner. Spurs are atrocious. Well, not massively atrocious, but... Everyone was backing them to score, and it's the same old story. It's the false dawn again with Tottenham. I, I just don't back Ange. It's bluster coming out the other day about he wins something in his second season all the time. It's just Spurs fans are not going to buy it. The rest of the league aren't going to buy that. And, you know, it's bravado you get from Yanks and Aussies. 
over here we we just wait for you to fall flat on your face and then we start pointing that's that's the culture over here you don't blow your own trumpet you know people over here like um glorious defeat and gallant losers and that sort of stuff it's a weird one but yeah our Teta master plan is assured and controlled yeah the arsenal aren't putting up these massive attacking figures as they were last year they're not as gung-ho but defensively, they're just more assured and more controlled. Uh, control well to a point in their games. They are giving up a lot more expected goals conceded. I I do look at the statistics, but I'm not ruled by them. I just hear them from other bloggers, and um, they they give you, you you watch the 30 40 minute video, and yeah, you know, you're up to date with everything, maybe. And then you you take your stance on who you fancy. Um, Ange, monorail, and cornerstone culture. Yeah, Spurs are cornerstones with these corners and set set pieces, free kicks, you know. And, you know, Vicario is just looking lightweight. He, he's a bit like Gomez, you know, big, huge dude, but he's not used to all this attention in the box. He can't, um, Vicario can't marshal that six yard box well. He can't come out and punch the thing. It's just like frightened of his own shadow and Spurs are just absolutely freaking out. With um, Romario, a World Cup winner, uh, nothing makes sense. It had some amazing players in the past, like, you know, Walker was there, and, you know, Vertonghen and, you know, so, you know Garrett Bale even down the left. And, you know, they're they an amazing team. But now I think Spurs are on the downgrade. Son is not getting any younger uh, things are starting to... He, he'll do his... Um, I think Son's a bit of a trap. He'll do his streaks, a confidence player. he come up with a, a two or three. Then he goes blank for three games and you get a, a drips and drabs. You get him in and then bang, you're done. And all, It's just too much money to tie up in, in, in Son at the minute. Um, for me, it's just Saka, Haaland. They're worth their salt and gold. Then absolutely gold stuff. I think Watkins was going to really that eight point nine. I think he, I think he is four point nine. If you get an Ollie Watkins from last season, that that is easily nine point five. And we'll see when Foden gets back as well. Jeez, Foden cannot rule that guy out. He's dropping in price. Will he get down to eight million? Um, we'll see. Doubt is, but um, yeah, the Monor he just refusal to change the plan A. Or he, he I, I just don't think, Ange is able to adapt to what's going on the pitch. Um, you know, Mourinho and Conte, I, I saw the same thing with them. You just sat in the, the touchline and they just went. And the few gest gest gesticulations of them. Uh, I'm not convinced at all. Uh, who 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 did I like? Pochettino was the guy. He did change a lot. He he would he was a better tactician. But do you know what? I think David Moyes wouldn't be a bad job for Spurs. He would be brilliant. He's a great tactician, great experience. Okay, he's old school, and that might suit Spurs are now done in this system. You're just a coach, you know your place. Uh, we have a director of football, so it kind of gives the direct the. the Daniel Abbey are the directors, a breeding space and a, and a buffer to the manager because they, they're they that high up that they don't want anyone overstepping. That's where a problem with Harry Redknapp. He was, he was treating the men with the suits as just, you know, I'm the manager. You know, I'm in charge of the team. I'm getting the results. <laughs> uh, money men, they find a way to know their, their worth and then make sure you're where you are in the pecking order. So uh, I think Ange can adapt to that sort of stuff. I think he should be okay. But if this carries on with Spurs, um, was, uh, I wouldn't rule them out for a cup win, but let's see. But with Arsenal, um, brilliant win for them. They go away to City now and uh, just sit back and re relax and watch. It could be that boring nil-nil that we saw last season. Uh, everyone just want to get out of dodge with that. But yeah, Arsenal the best defence in the league and they are a shout to, to have double Arsenal defence if you want that go down that way. It's There's nothing wrong with it. Rhea and Gabriel would be my double Arsenal. Uh, yeah, Oli. Ole, Ole is back. He's back 8.9. I said building fitness and purring. Yeah, he, he looks good. Everton, Jacqueline Hyde, Joy in attack, Dyer in defence. So yeah, this is I'm concentrating on 
they're attacking. I think Everton are really. I, I, it's just a good thing. That's just what kind of. I just want. I, I'd like to see on my team, but I wouldn't want both possibly. Just the one there. Breakdown of the Christian Nicholson pub fancy league here based on being honest. Apologies for the sound and the, uh, the you know the audio. At least I have pictures of, of my mug and that I am human. I, I sound like a robot. I suppose with this new setup to go into the into the oh, something I knew I forgot. I don't know if it's that one now. I hope it is. Yeah, I want to go through the the price rises and what's been going on. It's uh, and we can have a catch up. Of um, you know, just like it's been a week, there was only a couple of followers. Yeah, you can go into all this now yourself, I know, but um, yeah, that's the one, isn't it? Yeah, a bit out of kilter here now. It's just, it's just bear, bear with me for a minute. No. Right, yeah, let's have a look here. Do, do, do. Yeah, the, let's uh let's just give Dave Kion a bit of credit here. A hundred unbelievable we'll see later on. Um it was just like he, he had the Mateta thing and he had everything good and the Highland captain and everything's just perfecto. But will that team perform week in, week out? A lot you see the thing about FPL, you'll have that good week. I'm not trying to pour any cold water on this, great stuff, but need to be always on it every week and to have a, have a check if you're on the right players. And sometimes when you look at a team during the season, you can tell when they stopped. You know, they still have that player that everybody's got rid of now and done nothing since. So it's just bits and pieces. You have to be on it all the time. Get that rank, have that amazing season. The good stuff with Dave Cunyon, there's uh, loads of them there. Tommy, Tommy Cunyon, third before in 2017. Andy plays all the time. Uh, thanks to the lads for playing and being so avid on uh, top dogs and listening now and uh, we are grateful in the WhatsApp groups uh, so yeah Connor Keane 88 Niall Chip Richardson great great week for him 75 and, and this was it 100 88 75 Aidan Gaffney 72 Sajendra from Malaysia 71 and he is a real person I've spoken to him uh, Dennis Ring 70 and then after that everybody was in their 60s and 50s and I said what's the point with the puppies this week let's get the runs and, you know, I, I'll poke fun at myself. I mean, I'm in, I'm a, I'm in the runs group. This is game week four. I'm happy now to be in the underdogs. And I think it was, I think it was mainly in the pups. But you want to be in the pups as well. Uh, you'll grow up one day and you'll be nasty. Nasty good. So, yeah, the runs here. Myself, the good events. 39, Eamon Phillips, Dara, Hunt, who came third last year. And Sean Gilday with 37. Uh, Connor Freely, 36. Massive, you know, I mean, it's kicking the teeth, all right. Hugh Kearney, 35, Adam Hickey, probably all the Salah dudes, and uh, Jean Pedro dudes as well, all lumped in there. Romizel, Rosalie, 30, ouch. Oh, and Love Boat Row from Claire Mars, 30, ouch. And Lee Chambers, 30 to 22, that was the gap. Uh, Lee's uh, my co colleague here at Redbridge Council, 22, it's mind blowing stuff. Uh, how? Because I've seen. Um, I think uh, FPL Raptor, he got a 24 this week. And like he's just, he's got a degree in psychology and he, he's just into sports, like, all sorts. Uh, and he's you know, finishing. I think he was saying that he was 7 million for ages, for loads of game weeks. And he managed last year to get all the way back to 25K. So it's very, you know, you can get back. You can get back. It's just too early to panic. And as I said, the rankings are just too close. Uh, to call at this stage. Next is a yeah. It, it, look, game week three was brilliant. Game same sort of crack. Uh, game week four. That's just FPL. You're going to have this odd disaster. Salah and Liverpool. That's a disaster, of course. Yeah, not good. Low the price drops all across their defence and Darwin and uh, Gakpo. And uh, we're not sure now about the minutes with Jota and a few others. There's going to have to be a rotation there. McAllister looks like a slob. So blah blah. I know that's not how you pronounce it, but he looks like the best out of the others, apart from Salah. We just know Salah will haul every now and again here and there. And Liverpool, 
don't think they've had the peno yet. So penos aren't they? If you're not getting penos, these players aren't worth the money. Um, Guru, yeah, I overthought the hat. I thought he'd have his shoes and he'd be over. I thought he might even be on the bench. I didn't take a chance. I overthought it. And so, yeah, the king of all the thing, a knee jerk. Knee jerked. Yeah, McNeil and uh, Watkins in. But I, I just don't know how I, got, I, I didn't pull the trigger. I, it's just like me to just go wild card game week five when it's just insane. Uh, the two free transfers done there. Number one in the world now is Tunjay Ozer from Australia. Uh, he's got 382, so he's 97 points on me. Um, but he has used all his chips. 101 points, bench boost the first game week. 112 free hit, second game week. Wild card, game week 384. And triple captain done last week on Haaland. 85. Right? With, if if I hadn't, probably should have got the, the treble hat. But you know, that would have been another 12 there. So that would have probably made it. He's got a good run on everybody. But that's it now. He's probably, you know, we're all going to get the mystery chip after Christmas. And we'll get the wild card. But I'm the type of guy, I like to have all my chips at the end. I don't know chips at the moment. And that's the way I like it. If I can just keep somewhere near within 50 points of this dude. You know, by game week ten, well, I think some players just want to be to be able to say I was number one in the world, game week four in two thousand twenty four, and you'll always have that. But not really. It's, a, it's the it's the final game week thirty eight rank that everybody wants and knows. Who cares about what's in between? Um, and then last, we'll have a look at the what's been going on. I haven't met, managed to get so. Over the last week, Kanachi has gone up. Okay, I said Liverpool defenders 5.1. Robinson from Fulham is uh, 4.7. Um, just go to X, just like to, yeah, profile chain. Yeah, Vardy's gone up again. Two price rises 5.7. Dunk is up 4.6. Fair enough. Um, Jensen has gone down to 5.4, and Tsimikas has gone down to 4.7. Simmons never be five million. You have no laugh. Bradley's Bradley could be well worth it for cover for Trent. Yeah, he he kind of Bradley. Uh, but that that's it. There's been no price rises overnight. But Watkins it's saying here in FPL price changes. Uh, Diaz is looking really good. One hundred and eighty-seven thousand managers brought brought him in. One hundred and ninety thousand for Watkins. Another 185,000 managers bringing in Haaland. 176,000 for Vardy. Loads of bringing in Emil Smith Rowe. Ain is now a big one. 122,000 have brought him in. And DCL is, is in there. There's, there's more. That's there's more you can get on uh, fancyfootballhub.co.uk if you want to have a look at that. Uh, I'm hoping to actually appear on uh, the Irish Hots for uh, Fancy Football. I'm in their league. Uh, they know me as the Spurs. Um, I have to kind of, you know, and I'm going to give my advice about FPL. I've been doing this for quite a while. I've had good ranks in the past, top 1,500, 1,500k, top 50s, top 25s, a lot, many lots of top 200k's. Uh, always consistent until the last couple of years. Um, 2.1 million and now 1.2 million rank and now this um, 750,000 but I don't want to mess this up uh, Lewis yeah Rico Lewis has gone up at 4.7 now but uh, I just have to get primed you know for this peak later on you don't want to start bearing it up with 7 pounds a pint beers you know uh Around hybrid Islington Station, it's a bit pricey around that Gooner place. I can't get away from this, from the from the Emirates. You know, the last few weeks, it's just non-stop gigs wise around there. Uh, Romero, five point one, good value still. He come up with clean sheets and a few goals. I like Romero, although he can get into trouble with the ref. Salah, twelve point seven, fine. Any risers? Hanans, okay. This is yesterday's information, but he didn't go up. He he is he he is looking as I said Watkins possibly could go up to nine. 
Adama Traore from uh, I think you know Fulham five mil. Onana from Aston Villa could be going up to five point two mil. Well, back okay. He looks like more certainty now with Joe for a while, or oh, maybe a couple a week or two. Who knows? Might be back. Duran might be going up. Diaz is on the radar for going up. I'm not so sure though. Will have to be rotation. And then, you know, so not, not an awful lot there. Price rises. Sack has gone down, which is terrific for us. Game week six wild carders. Isak's gone down, as we've seen before, to 8.4. gostaski has gone down 6.3. Walker's down. Loads of Man City players gone down. Castanis gone down. Wilcott from Newcastle, although I think he got the assist. Uh, I think he's a West Ham player, Toby, though. Uh, Shade, 5.4. He could be a good shout for instead of your minions who should be could, he could be going down soon he will be especially in a wild card there'll be loads of absolute uh, devastation with loads of these players in the wild card none of these will be getting in maybe shady possibly but i go for him just uh chill well just not getting game time but i think he will be brought back in eventually um yeah gusto going down the cameras to go down. Now, Bruno Fernandes is a threat to be going down to 8.3. Keep an eye. I, I, I think think he, I think, I think United will come good. I think the sky will come good. Um, Darwin and Gakpo, 7.2. I wouldn't be even getting them in at 6.5. You just can't guarantee minutes. So, possible fallers. Bruno didn't fall last night. Um, full crowd. None is fell last night. And uh, no, Bra- Braithwaite, we'll see if he can get back. Odegaard, 8.3. I just don't think his minutes are there. Or, I mean, his, his attacking threat. I, I just don't know. Um, you just have to watch Arsenal and see if there's a change in the system or something different um, with Odegaard because he's not getting the same sort of. It's just not worth that money, 8.5 from last season. Um, could have not gone down. He could be going down. Ake is injured, so that's why he's uh, price price dropping. But that's enough uh, enough of that then, and that's all we are with that. Um, what were the Solanke and Ruben? I suppose he caught the Ruben on goal. Dallo, great call. Two top dog of the game before. Um, some people were saying you should get a hat if you top dogs. Uh, sounds good. It's it's only so much money in the world, guys. Um, two points. You know that's a win-win. Ruben might have been even playing. So it's unbelievable. 24 points there. Otherwise, it would have been a really respectable. Well, so you'll get game weeks like that. Sack is fine. Gordon. I, I like Gordon. I just like him. I just, I just feel good when I have that blonde haired assassin in the team. Uh, sniping since he's paid off. He probably had walking. So faith has been restored there. Uh, you know, Dave deserves the points there massively. Anyone that's held on to Watkins. Like Vardo, but not too sure. Uh, we'll have to see if there's a change in formation with City. Ahmed. But everybody's come up trumps, really. Uh, not a lot on the bench, but that's fine. I think this time of the season, between you know, game week one to six, seven, poor bench. But then you have the rotations. The rotations are going to come in with Europe. That's when you need to have them two or three on the bench, just in case. I know myself that I cannot get away with phase anymore. Not with uh, Europe coming. So good stuff. Well done, Dave. Connor Hussey is, is uh, maintaining points on the ouch. So I'd like to keep it somewhere in along because you know, Connor's well experienced. He's kind of... He came into FPL Top Dogs uh, with a lot of enthusiasm. We had an amazing season. I finished second. He finished fifth. We just have that sort of, I think there's a good mold and template of, uh, you know, we've, we got together and we just have a good community together. Uh, there's no kind of grudgery too much. And we just all want to get better together. That's the, the whole idea of the Christy Nick. And it's just to enhance our in the team and we're all doing well. So good stuff. 62,000 rank. David's 13, early 14K rank. Brilliant stuff. Um you know, you'll be getting lots of red arrows, but they'll be just sort of get that area, you know, equilibrium. And then attack. If you can attack from 500k at game week 22 or 28 with your chips, then, oh my God, I have chips. Loads of people have. Um, sound like Trump always reinforcing the, the double positive. Yeah, so good stuff from Connor. Okay, Caldwell, yeah. I, I, I should have should have really thought Caldwell would be a very good... Um, you know, probably there with Sammers massively. Just, um, and I just can't figure, I think Jackson's the only way to go if you want to, Jackson, Jackson Caldwell. Uh, I don't know what's happening to James. Gus doesn't there for life at the minute. Uh, so, yeah, he, he, you know, Connor must be loving it. 
must must be must be loving it. Zhao, okay, that's a bit of a shock. Who would have came in there? So the Zhao maybe Smith Rowe. Uh, but, but good stuff. It's a great, great position. Six, um, Jason McGoldrick, 48. He was top for a few weeks, uh, just popping down a bit. But this great position, 301 points. Wow. Well done, Jason. Jason McGoldrick there, uh, 189k. Again, this guy, all the way through, 64. Really, really good. He's got his captaincy right. Yeah, stick on Alan. That, that was a, that's something I should have done. Semenya, he, if it's not an attacking from play, he's not going to get much apart from that. Boss coming up. Bad fixture, good fixture, bad fixture. And you know, the influencers have been saying Bournemouth and everything will take really, really well. So, um, Kanate, Salah, I like that. I like Kanate there. I just, I just have to kind of wait for TA to do something. Um, sells good, Havertz. So, this team could get a easy wild card. So, I was just thinking there, you've got your Arsenal in there. I just like Smith Rowe for all the games. Eze for all the games. Okay, the penalty is a bummer. Dissemeno will, will bang at home. Sal is great. He's got the double hal and uh, Robinson's attacking threats there. Can I say fair enough? But well, he'll have this Europe thing. Zhao's on the bench, which is, I think, we got penalty taker. He's nearly fixture proofer against all the teams. Brighton or no, no, no. Uh, they, are, they are great shakes against anyone. Yeah, I like it. Fabianski, okay. Alina, or, uh, uh, he's going to be coming back and he, he should be back. Uh, Fabianski in a wild card. Uh, Sells. That's just probably the only thing, uh, somebody that would probably rotate a bit better. But yeah, Forrest have good, very good fixtures coming up now. They have got a run. Uh, so Wood, Wood is uh, the man there to be looking at as well. Uh, yeah, Aiden Gaffney. What was going on there? Saliba, good stuff. Martinez coming up trumps. Joe Linton must have got booked. Winks. Yeah, 72. Very, very good return there. There's a lot of Ones, zeros, and threes there, but uh, it's, it's, he's managed to get a number out of that. Paramore, I think he's going to become differential soon, definitely, especially after the wildcard six. Uh, yeah, Liam Herrer there, 55, good score. That was six, great score. Wow, 27 points on 39. That is just a hammer right back in the race. All chips intact. So I'm going to see myself and Andy were more or less around the same thing. I think we just keep this crack going anyway. That's what I am saying. Yeah, Parma could be differential. Chelsea are better, very good fixtures. I see you've got Sanchez in there, that Hall, you saved the penal. Um, 66. Well, the, between them two, there's really saved them there. Dallow on the bench. Wow. There's a lot of points in this team. Very interesting. Cunha, very interesting striker, gets into a lot of positions. Uh, Pedro Miklenko's injured. Burn, not sure. Hit and miss, born interesting. Very, very rad team. It's Diaz with Jota and fixture issues now at Europe. Just have Salah, but it's hard to squeeze them in. It's just this is just to go to show that you mean so many players like Andy or a few others, they, they're getting great scores and great, great games together without necessarily having both Salah that the Hala thing going on. As I say, yeah, we know we know us. The crack with me, uh, Jack Coin off as a on as a and Becker. Okay, going forward, that's personal choices. Joining, and we saw earlier on the big friendly giant in 12th 51 points. Just take it. Archer's missed a panel, unlucky there. Uh, and Buemo hit the post, unlucky. Yeah, mostly, mostly everyone here is. Got all the chips intact anyway. So, Pat Kiley, 52. Dennis Ray, 70. Oh, yeah, Ariel is who I was trying to think of, Fabianski. Yeah, I think he'll be fine. Ariel, I just have him up with Danny's team. I mean, he's doing his best. Um, but yeah, he gets paid to play proper defendant. Um, 64 from Boiler. Uh, Robbie McCormick with a 41. Done better than me anyway. He's held his place more or less. Ethan Kane, 58. So a lot of 55s. Starman, quick look at um, Adrian Phillips, 54. So it'll just keep you around there and you can attack game week five. That's the that's the hope anyway. Face, Madigate, Madigate, K. No. Game week. Arsenal now coming up. It's, it's, a, big, it's a big match now for Starman. With Saliba, Guerrero, and um, 
Haaland. Salah's there, so there's the captaincy. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Fleckens in there, rotation. Yeah, should be okay. Just be interested in, in the, the wild card. They probably, uh, yeah, this dude's got he's got Saka. Again, this team wouldn't be too bad for game week six. All the Arsenal in there. Yeah, it's Rory Duncan. Yeah, Duncan, the nice guy, hand in there. 1.3 million. So if you're in this sort of rank, you're fine at the minute. It's it's not it's no sort of lock doors open. Uh Willie Nestor just down to his bench boost and free hit. Just hold it there, Roshin, and just try to gather your thoughts. Uh less you know. Yeah. De Bruyne there, we're talking shells, not getting the that's just a too too much of a punty call. Gusto Suchek was all the rage first two game weeks. Nico Williams. Yeah, I, I, if I was William here, I'd be just listen. Just you still have Zhao. We should be playing. Let's see what Gusto is back. Leaf Davis should be fine. It, it's such a good, good fixtures. Things they've got Southampton coming up. I'd roll. Uh, I I'd, I'd roll. I definitely roll transfers and get up to your four or five and do your mini and get all this thing sorted. Just keep Captain in Haaland. I wouldn't go doing Jota. I, I think two six four is fine. Be patient. You can get out of this. I, I'd roll as many as I can. Whatever you've got for game week six, uh, do a bit of surgery and you can get this team back. And you can get that rank back, kid man. I'm telling you. you you're, you're fine as it is. You're in, you're in stock and tear. I'm only on two, 285. 21 points down, you know, on me. You know, and I'm, I'm the, you know, off to a terrific start. We're not far off, you know. Well, at the top... 15, so 38 down already on Dave. And, you know, I want to be keeping an eye on Connor there. I don't want to let him go too, you know, he's, he's good. <laughs> uh, don't want to be letting him just play cool. Dunk is fine. Mostly all very good players. You're on Watkins early. Um, there's a captain singing Watkins there. If you want to against, I think they're playing Wolves. Uh, Owen Collins, 65. Jack Kearney, last year's winner, 62. Again, the same sort of thing I would say to Jan, all these players, and Stevie Stretter. Uh, Fine, you've got all your chips intact. It's stalking area. It's fine. Haaland, okay, all capped. I like the TA, I like Poro, Faze, Jota, the Salah thing. That was a, it felt it should have been a, bit, a bit of a win win there for Stevie with, with Salah blanking, but the others didn't quite kind of get it for him. Parmer just probably have to stew and see, uh, and probably that's an easy downgrade to the cause a money horse or a cash cow. Parma for a second in game week six. So, you know, just quickly, Stevie's team is that is that a wild card? Is that really a wild card in game week six? Yeah, possibly. Just keep an eye out for Isak. What's going on with him? Need to sort out Henderson, the goalkeeper situation. Need to sort out the bench as well. Yeah, spring clean in there. Consider about Trent. I'd still keep him. I like Poro, but I want Gabriel. Yeah, it's a yeah wild card there. Um, and then you'll have your your transfers you go into. If you've got three transfers going into your wild card, you'll have them three transfers. They roll until five. You can have a maximum of five um, later. So it's good to have them transfers back and wild cards so in a strong position. Timbers is good value. I like Timbers. He could be a way to get a few points, but nothing much more. You know, the ceiling with Timbers is not as high as Gabriel. Just to say, and Ray is just destroying it. 5.5 million keeper. It's just a matter of time before he's 5.6. So get on if you want. Havertz, okay. And Kunku. Very, very good 62 from Ja. All his chips intact. He's playing the same sort of way. Very patient. He's letting his team do the talking. Matt Sarai, really good call. Pickford, okay. He knows himself forward. Um, yeah, I'd get off medicine. Not, not, not a fan. I've seen medicine. is just... He's awful lightweight. He's just not getting into games. He's just in that low block. He just can't find the passes, and everyone just gets congested. Uh, it's just not working at Tottenham. It's just you know, I just just don't think it's working there, Leicester. And then he could just get on that transition phase, and then spray them passes, and then move into the box. He's free, and then you know, or free, you know, it's just, his game's not suited uh, where the way they play. 
Uh, Mark Phillips through Oracle. He's on three three transfers. Very interesting. Three free transfers. Um, can I take a good call? Smith Rowe. Okay, he had Hudson Adoy, but Smith Rowe, not much of a points loss there. Two Munoz and Munoz. Munoz and Munoz <laughs> uh, for the next one. Uh, 55. It's okay. It's, it's okay, Harlan. Um, par for the course. The hand and not having hand is absolutely scary. So to get out of that 55, uh, I'm, I'm sure everyone will have had a bike back wild card in game of six. You'd have to really. Um, I just, yeah, Jack Jack Maloney, 53. Again, he's got Parma like stretch, uh, Haaland. So, yeah, fair enough. It's okay. He's still got an income cool on the bench as well. All that money rotten. It's going to be tough for the wild card. It's a lot. That's why I got Medicaid, and it's just to get off the price drops. Um, James Crane, 47. We kind of highlighted him a bit over the last while. And um, not too bad, look. 255s, fine. 280s, where you'd love to be. 260 is fine, as I said with the other lads there. There's not much within these ranks. I wouldn't even look at 3.1 million. You know, 15 points, you know, Danny Ings score, you know, well, he wants to score a hat trick, but one of your players, you know, blow, like Parma starts hitting things, he'll be going up the rankings because he's such a differential. Uh, fan defense, and it will be good, and you'd all be possibly for Brentford going up. Next game, five, I'd be keeping, I'd be rolling as many transfers as you can. Look at that Ings, that move for Ings. That's a brilliant call. Well done, that's, that's, that's move of the week. <laughs> well done, Jamesy. Uh, what I've noticed about Jamesy is, is uh, he's got great picks for the first uh, goal scorer. Unbelievable. And uh, oh my God, he subs on eight minutes, gets the goal, in and out. Teeth of the night. That's just right. Sounds good. Dang, you know, down to this is my zone. Like my zone's down here. My zone is usually, last two years, I'm 74, 70. Next week, I might get up to 70. Then I go down to 72. Then next, you know, there's 60 and up. Like game week, then 20, 35, I'm about here. And it's oh, flicking out. And then manage, manage just to get up to about, that, that's that's the way. That's that's just my dynamic of FPL. So this start is massive. So good uh, good call there, James. The unbelievable. Who else? Uh, Sebastian Lamitsky, uh 242. Good score, 61. Again, 242 points. Okay, 20 points. You want to have the 260, but not all is lost. I'm just saying, if, if, if you're down and around there, I'd be keeping any sort of differentials like the Parma. You kind of have to in a way, but you got Haaland. The Liverpool thing worked out okay. This this team looks fine for game week six. So it, look, it, look, it looks like there was a good bit of long-term planning. In a, it's keeping in. 52 is fine. Like, you know, the, the standard of the league is really good this year. 242 is fine, you know, it's it's too early now to to, to, to get the solution this heartened and use your role since you if you use a what well, you've got a wild card left here so it's a triple captain uh said is used but yeah I, I think i like what i see from what sebastian's doing you know i, I just see that there's more effort and he's really as you see compared to other years and you know sebastian knows so he's telling himself uh, so i'm really happy to see sebastian really in it and really on it no, uh, yeah, Tommy Cunha. I'd like to have a little look at Tommy. Um, 27. Oh, gosh, I know God 37 is, is massive, 27 is just tough. Um, it's a bit of a drop, you know, it's nearly about a million places right there, I would say, if not more. It's hard to good players, it's just it didn't rhyme. Um, the Haaland thing has just been devastating. So, you know, this this team, Saka, is, is left. You know, the, he won that, you know, Gabriel. This team is really set up for, for game week six, but not necessarily game week five. So it's going to be tricky. I wouldn't be wild carding in. What's the advice here with all the, the City and, and Arsenal next week? It's going to be tough watch. Um, just going to have to back your Arsenal dudes to do the business with Haaland. And they could easily do it. So I play all my Arsenal, just go all in. And you just never know. It could be the team you think, oh, they're, they're going to reward you next week. Uh, what I don't know, 30 from himself. Um, one is out 43. Don't O'Brien, ouch. You want look, he's he's really into you know, Donnie Silvermines is into this, he loves us. Wild card uh, 50, wild card in game week four. It's hard to do one in game week four because you're thinking of game week five and then you're kind of loose for six, so you really need to roll. Going into this wildcard just depends how many. If Donny's had two, he could he could actually roll up to five. 
and then get his arsenal in that way. So, but well, it's just kind of keep keep at it. I've, I've been in this situation. And I just, yeah, I'm losing my head. I'm going insane, but still come back and I still try to not give up and keep moving and going. And still, as I said, there's a few players in this team. I wish now is, is, is a bad blow. You know, it's hard, to ask. it's hard to know. Got into got into a boy more quick. Lewis now this is, issues. He came off at half time, didn't he? And him and Guardiola. Guardiola came on at half time, and there seems to be little bits of issues. Walker's back now, and he'd be playing a lot more minutes. So we'll have to see, Donny. You know, you know yourself. Mark Rowan. So yeah, that's all we have. That's the roundup for the, the league. Christian Nixon Pub Fantasy League. Uh, best of luck with your teams going forward, folks. Thanks for listening. Sorry about the sound here. Um, better get off now. Guess get a bit of music in the bones. Listen to some live music around hybrid isn't it? Iridium. Yeah, they're a metal core band. And so just excited just to get out and just feel liberated. Um so I'm not, not panicking with this game week four, it's done. It could have been and it's horribulous completely. It's more like a horribulous um at this stage. But not not okay, we'll see what see what Watkins does. And um that's the crack there. Thanks, guys, for watching. Give us a like and subscribe. And it's where you get 17, 10, 74. Apologies about the audio and sound. I'll sort something along. I'm just happy to get the vid, you know, video up here. And, uh, you know, go out. Thanks, guys. God bless. Bye-bye.